Where's my camera? Where's my face? Do I look like this? Do I look like I'm looking at it? Or should I flip? I should flip the camera? Okay. Ah! Oh, why am I so ugly when I flip the camera? Alright, it's time for... Uh... Crappy aquariums. We'll say crappy so that I don't get demonetized by saying a curse word in the first 30 seconds because YouTube is on some goblin mode as of late demonetizing things. Oh yeah, hi YouTube. Hope you, hope you guys are doing well. You guys have been doing a good job saying hi to Twitch chat. Twitch chat appreciates it, right Twitch chat? Anyways, we can look at the top uh, crappy aquariums from the month because I haven't streamed in a month because I was in Malaysia and I am working on the video from Malaysia right now. I'm editing that. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to make some other content. Happy birthday to the shark at the library two years old today. Holy shit. A shark that belongs on a reef in what can't be more than a five gallon tank. How are they maintaining the salt water? Is there... Oh, there's a filter. Okay. At least there's a filter and bubbler. It's lived for two years. Why is it so small? No two-year-old shark is meant to be that size. Looks like a hand cooler. It looks like, like a five-gallon tank to me. This looks like my first tank. Maybe they have salt water nearby? You think they're getting it from the ocean? Oh, there's Japanese on the thing. So I guess this is in Japan. I don't even know. Even the leopard gecko is looking at the, goal, <laughs> the bowl in disapproval. I had this, but the opposite. My sister had two leopard geckos. And then I had my big, like, 55-gallon aquarium. And the fish would look at the leopard gecko, and the leopard geckos would look at the fish. I'd have, like, a back-and-forth staring contest. I know nothing about raising turtles, but I know this can't be right. Yeah, no, that's pretty bad. Oh my god, in Malaysia, I saw some crazy uh, aquarium-related things. Like, we went to this market, and they were selling... Ironically, the betta fish were in like better conditions than I see them in America. Like the little cups that you see in like American fish stores, they actually had like mm, slightly larger tanks with bubblers um, at the Malaysian market. Uh, but that was just the betta fish. The turtles were in cups. <laughs> so like the cups that you see little betta fish in, there was like one you know centimeter of water and then just a baby turtle in it. And there were hundreds of them and people were buying them. I have no idea why, what the purpose is, why that's a thing. It was so awful and no one seemed to think anybody of it, anything of it. Someone surrendered this guy today. He's been living in a betta cup since March. So they bought the betta and then left it in the cup. And clearly they put it in the sun because they thought that their betta would love the sunlight. <laughs> Uh, and thus, algae has grown in the water. Salt in betta fish bowl? Is that it? They just put... Is it salt water, or did they actually put, like, a, a large amount of salt? Why are there... Why are you putting shells? Okay. It's stupid no matter what that they added salt. Salt can, in small amounts can be useful for uh, disease prevention because the fish can tolerate it, but the parasites and viruses can't. So you can actually uh, keep fish in healthy environments with small amounts of salt. That was too much salt and also makes no sense. And I don't think that they were thinking about disease prevention. Something tells me they thought that betta fish were salt water for some reason. The world's largest captive bred saltwater crocodile has been kept in this basically empty pool for about five years. Jesus Christ. How do animals live? Animals are so crazy and resilient. I am so constantly impressed by how amazing animals are with how long they survive in unoptimal conditions. It's genuinely impressive to me. Like five years, that's a crazy amount of time or something like that to have lived there. This would be a cute little plant terrarium, but they chose to make it an awful aquarium. Yeah, I had this idea as a kid. I wanted to take a gumball machine. We had like a, a Mickey Mouse gumball machine and we were gonna put like a, set up a whole aquarium fish in it. Luckily, I realized that that was not a good idea before I ended up doing it, um, but 
This person did not realize it was a good idea. This looks like a little bigger than mine, actually. Actually, no, wait, that's a better fish. This is smaller than mine. Mine would have been less poor quality than this. My cousin's new fish. Oh, yay. It has a castle. What is there to complain about? It's wonderful. It has a whole castle just to itself. Three years ago, my sister got this betta fish and barely cares for it. Yeah, that's usually the thing. People want a pet or something like that. So the parents are like, okay, fine, you can get a fish. Fish is easy. You can take care of that. And then they'll feed it like once a month when they remember to do so. Like, share, subscribe now. Okay. Hey, nothing's wrong so far. Fake plant, not the best, but whatever. Nice filter, nice light. What the... What was the point in the plastic? Okay, whatever. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wow. I was so on board. Up until this point, this was a beautiful tank. I mean, the water isn't cycled, but crystal clear water, the beautiful sand on the bottom, all of the nice rocks and... Uh, Oh, to stop the sand from moving when you pour the water in? Okay, fair enough. All of the nice driftwood and rocks and everything. You didn't cycle the tank at all, but Jesus Christ, just had to add every fish that you could find. It says on YouTube, this owner claims this is 75 gallons. 75 gallons with an arowana. Multiple cichlids. Is that a peacock bass? Why is that in there? The dentist and probably the saddest saltwater tank I've ever seen. It's kind of uninteresting, but it's not that bad. It's a good size, depending on what's in there, I guess. I can't see everything that's in there, so maybe it's not good, but it looks fine. Okay. See, this is significantly less fine. This looks like a litter box. This looks like a litter box that you forgot to clean for too long. Where is the turtle? That's crazy. Just lives in a fucking litter box in poop water. Do not pick up the frog tanks. Two African dwarf frogs in each tank. Yeah, I've seen this. I think I told the story before, but my sister had an African dwarf frog as a kid, and it was on the toilet bowl in the bathroom, like on the top of the toilet. So anytime you would go to the bathroom, you would see this tiny African dwarf frog in this tiny ass tank. It was terrible. House sitting for my partner's family. It's not brilliant, but I've done the best I can. Nah, that's not bad. Are those goldfish? They're very fat goldfish, if so. They're shaped like platies, but their face looks like goldfish. That's what's confusing me. They have a goldfish face, but they're shaped like platies. Interesting. Saw this at a relative's house. He's dead. Wait, is the relative dead or is there a fish in there that's dead? Is this a chandelier that's meant to have an aquarium in it? That's fucking crazy. I don't... Surely they didn't put a fish in here. There's no way you would put a fish in here. There's just no way. They put a plant thing. I don't think they actually put a fish in here. I refuse to believe that's a thing. I had to pick up my betta some dried shrimp baby so spoiled <laughs> this is like that one post i don't know if you can find it there's like this one post of like this woman who's like i be cooking for my man all that good shit and it's like spaghetti with marinara and she's like bone apple teeth <laughs> this is bone apple teeth but with fish had to pick up my betta some dried shrimp baby so spoiled while he's in the murky tiny ass water See this unfortunate fish in town? Jesus. It has to be for sale to eat, right? There's no way this is an aquarium. This is like a catfish that someone caught in their local river. A big ass catfish. Currently a work in progress as I educate my auntie in the kindest way possible. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately it's slow. If you come up to them immediately and you're like, this is terrible, this is why, these are all the things that you're doing wrong, uh, they're gonna end up getting upset at you. But, if you can do it slowly and slowly, you know, bring the information in. And it usually goes much better. Yeah, this person put this many goldfish in a 10 gallon. Those aren't goldfish. Those are neon tetras. But point still stands. It's way too many fish in a tank that size. Regardless of the fact that that's not the fish that they were saying it was. My bestie's mom's tank. 
Why is the phone next to it? Is the fish going to answer the phone if you're not around? <laughs> Aw, okay. Let's look at one last little uh, TikTok put together. All right, cool. So I get a bowl. Sorry. I get gravel. I put it in. I get a nice pink thing. Sure. Fill in some literally fake plants. Not even attempting to look like real plants. Okay, the filter's running. That's nice. And we put a beta in there. What beta is that? Beta has like Play-Doh colors. It's a very pretty Beta. Now I'm more interested in Beta and Beta colors and everything because I went to Malaysia and caught like 10 wild Beta species. It's a very cool colored Beta. Deserves more. So sad. Alright chat. Wait, there are wild Bettas? There are 74 species of Beta, yes. The one that you see in the aquarium trade is Beta Splendens. It's one species. There are 73 other species that exist. Some you can find in aquariums occasionally, and they're worth a lot of money, but... Bye, everyone. Whoa!